No, my seats ain't that close, bro. My seats is in the 100s. No, not like white by me. Huh? Savage seat. And then I, <laughs> oh, girl, not the girl. No, no girlfriends be sitting close. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I'm behind you like 12 rows. <laughs> really? Well, I'm saying I sit on the floor where I'm sitting at. But I'm saying my seats are. Oh, your seats, okay. Not, they like, you ain't never sitting there. Like, yeah, anyway, <laughs> so right. I'm, like, I'm getting, I'm getting feet touching the floor, the court. I, I need, I need players that for me to fuck up. All right. When they scold, nigga. Yeah, he be players that be talking shit to me, and I be too far back for them to respond. For you to respond to him. Hard with the host. He got this shit tatted on his body. No cap. The man is. He got real ATM. I see that. Indeed. Westside APS. That's all I know. Fourth County. Huh? <laughs> he's scared of that one. Yeah, that nigga. He's scared of that one. <laughs> he's scared of that one. If they the beat get the old dirty bird, the, the long foul. Oh, the one that 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 <laughs> you gotta get a Waffle House there too? Hell no, I ain't get no Waffle House. They, they racist. Motherfucker. They gonna be down. They gonna get that shit on my back. 285. <laughs> no cap. Shot a drink. Shot a drink. Chantrell's logo, nigga. Then I'm gonna have to get everybody beautiful, missed everything. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get Warren Brown. I never told you, thank you for that guy. Yeah, you missed everything, nigga. That shit was bomb. I told you, nigga, I'm gonna put you up on game. You gotta get Marta on your back? Marta. Nah, Marta going through some dying right now, man. Yeah, they see you oh, that jumping. Shit. Yeah, yeah, jumping. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy, man. For you to go out like that. That's crazy. That's the only way you can go. Now, I mean, yeah, that's like us going out on 85 and just standing in the room. <laughs> 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 <You're going crazy. laughs> damn. That's damn. <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, that's man. Fucked up. Can you imagine the type of stress you got to be under, though, for you to pick that? Yeah. Out of all the ways to go, nigga. I don't want to know what type of stress that is. Train. That's a stretch oh, street. Man. You ready to go, go. Fuck the bullshit. Yeah, my you don't want no accident, no nothing. Nah. You ready to go. Man, people don't just do that shit for no reason. Mm -mm. That why, that's why you gotta pray for people's mental health, man, because that shit is serious. Pray for people instead of praying on people. Mm. Bars. Dig what I'm saying? Yeah. No cow. Another motherfucker ain't worried about you. It's a beautiful day. Hey, hey. <laughs> All the folks over there doing so good, man, because they get money, man. They ain't worried about no goddamn money. <laughs> shit. You know, but the crazy part about it, the older I get, I realize how mental health is serious. Cause you, you ain't got nothing but time to think about all the bullshit that went on in your life. See, you do. You weren't trying to hit me when I was telling you that shit BT Awards, nigga. I ain't think that. <laughs> you was like, nigga, get the fuck out of here, nigga. That shit weird. <laughs> I was like, fly, I'm telling you. Nah, nigga, you that nigga. What's your problem? I'm like, nigga, that ain't the case. It's you gotta, you gotta get that shit out. You, you got too much stress, out. man. It's too much going on, boy. Nigga be 35, still tripping off some shit. He was 14. 14, 13. You gotta yeah, let that shit let go. That shit go Especially man. all the shit we done seen in our life, boy. You gotta talk to somebody about that shit. But that's why I, I realize a lot of people don't pray though. Mm -mm. They don't think the Lord. Yeah, why? They don't think the Lord. But they need to start to think the Lord. Every day you wake up, gotta go home. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, see the other day. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you know, so I don't pray. What you say? What you chasing? Hey, and that money I be thinking. Okay. On my mind, I'll never be drinking. No, nope. no, nope. <laughs> cause I'm scared of the UI. Thank you for the blessing.
Let's see you see. If you got some extra left over, give them to me, my friend. Hey. Hey. I'm gon' do it cause I won't I'm hey. like wow, I'm like how hey. He's like when, he's like now hey. He's like all the blessings up here man They start to come down hey. Hey. You my son, that's your crib yeah. I'm gon' make sure that you straight I'm your father, that's what it is hey. Watching clothes, I'm like, damn, God, thank you for the blessing you just sent. If you know what I know, then you got to repent and say thank you for giving me another day. Okay, hey, hey, that's why I get down on my knees and pray. Okay, okay, I know my blessings coming every day. That's why I give all my blessings up to all that. Hey, 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 hey. Shalom. Uh, mm. All that. Whoever you pray to. Not whoever. No. Uh, whoever. <laughs> Not whoever. Some of them niggas be tripping. Some of them niggas be tripping. I had to run out. We ain't going to play that. Uh, I knew I wasn't wrong. Uh-uh. You wrong. <laughs> you did that wrong. <laughs> Whatever you call them. Yeah. Whatever you call them. Man, who we, we got? Okay. Man, listen. This special loves today. We got a legend. Man, oh, it's overdue. Oh. All the way. It's overdue. Ain't no way. He been in Atlanta this long, he ain't been by the trap. I know. I mean, the trap is the cousin of the basement. Right, amen. We basically in here, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep the legs in Right, following the blueprint that was laid down by this gentleman right yeah. here. Come we on. need a mic, we need a mic. <laughs> we need a microphone, dim the lights. Hey amen. <laughs> If it wasn't for this man right here, you might have missed out on some of the coldest interviews, the coldest freestyles, the Cold. coldest visuals, man. It's, he has a, a vault of, of culture. All the way, man. He ain't even spoke about you. All the way. I, I grew up listening to this brother. I'm from Washington, D.C., as everybody knows. The 95.5 mm -hmm. WPGC. The area. the area was hosted by this brother. He used to ride a bike. You know what I mean? Ride up and down the streets of D.C. You know what I mean? You would see this dude out. You know what I mean? Legend. He was a part of the city, man. The city is is a big part of the culture of the city. It's because of what this man laid down. I'm talking about vocal music on the radio. Mm. This brother right here, man. Icon. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Big T. Oh! In the trap. Announcer, radio personality. Radio personality. Facts. I just did an event with him at a college where he's giving back to the HBCUs, yeah. man. A philanthropist. A philanthropist. <laughs> All of that. Man. Icon, pioneer, oh, man. I can leave, man. No, you good. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do Before that. We, we, we got, got a bad record of that. We are changing the start leave, this, We just want to say thank you for all the work that you didn't put okay, in. Okay, man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man, because you, you, you've been a part of a lot of the culture. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it took, he was one of the first person when I got to Lynn and called me legend. I was like, ooh, it made me feel old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. I kind of started to get used to it, and people called me, he, my other person called me OG. And I'm like, you OG? But all, it's, as I've been in Atlanta almost 10 years now and look back on it, and you know, like, Rap City ended 15, 16 years ago. And People still me, talking about it every day. One day that went by, somebody and say, "You bring it back. Bring it back. Six, bring it back." It's a conversation. If it doesn't happen, I have three letters for you to blame. Mm. We know the three yeah, letters. We know the three mm. letters. Mm. We ain't gonna say it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we love them, but yeah, they gotta, sometimes, they gotta be right. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. So, um, I mean, most of the time when I think about it, and I get the love that I get from people like you, that people are, you know, now the basically the pulse of the culture. Feels good to know that, you know, like if I would disappear tomorrow, they'd be like, 
I'll be remembered for something. Bro, ain't no way you're gonna be able to disappear tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we don't know how much yeah. shit you do a year, bro. You be hosting that, like, celebrity basketball games. You host this shit in Punta Cana. Punta Cana. And fucking Memorial Day weekends. And the Atlanta Hawks. You been there, he been there. Yeah, I was there. He's an Adam White. 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 He's an Adam you would just disappear. Ain't nobody yeah. about to let you disappear. Listen, you got like a hundred events to host this year. Amen. We got to get to work. I mean, that's why that was the hardest thing about the pandemic. I couldn't be outside. Damn. Yeah. Mm. My first question is: I always thought you were from DC. What brought you to the city? I went to University of Maryland, College Park. Okay. On a uh, partial track scholarship. You run? Really? Yeah. Half the time. Yes. It was partial. <laughs> uh, tore up my hamstring my freshman year. Damn. And it was I was in rehab and then I was my major needed a research uh, internship. So I went up to WPGC. I was like, because I had been DJing since 16. I was like, five now, you know, I'm in a new place. I can get some free records, right. meet some people, and do all my stuff since I'm not running as many. I, I was there like two months. I walked into the, the studio to get something from Al B D. Al B D was like, he, he was like, hold on for a second. I watched him do a radio break and I was amazed. Like I was like, <sighs> so I was like, I came to get da 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 And he was like, I was like, well, question, how much can you make doing this? Right. He was like, you made anywhere from 50,000 to 5 million. And he was like, oh, you about to show me this. All right. So I switched to under Alby and Alby took me under his wing. I became his producer and his intern. Uh, and then I just kept pushing. I just right, kept team. saying, Yo, somebody let me in. And when I finally got my break to do nights on radio in DC, you know, like the whole thing was, I knew I wasn't from DC, but mm. I had a roommate in college that was from Temple Hills. Okay. So I had a good pulse of what the area was like. And he had already taken me to Dino's. He had already taken me to Eastside to see Go-Go and oh, all yeah. of that. So I was well indoctrinated and I knew it for me to fit in. I didn't have to act like I was from DC, but I had to know DC. Right. So that's what I did. And that's why lots of people, DC be like, nah, he belonged to us. Right. <laughs> and then right. New York be like, nah, he belonged to us. Right. So it's, I mean, it's, it's, that's just how it kind of came about. But I love D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. It gave me my first opportunity to be me. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, crazy. Beautiful, man. Yeah. All the way. Now, what made you make the transition down here? I mean, of course, this is the mecca. This is this so dirty, much. this dirty, dirty. But what made you go from being a New Yorker to coming to D.C., which is like that midway point, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and then transitioning all the way down to the South? Well, true story, I actually got fired on my birthday. <laughs> That's some whole Damn. ass shit. Some whole ass shit. I got fired. I know what that feel like, but that's fucked up. I got Damn. Hey man, if you ever wanna do some fuck shit to me, don't fucking wait till my birthday. I tell you that much. I got fired on my birthday. I tell you that fucking much. Don't wait on my fucking my birthday. My birthday is three days before Christmas. Damn. This story is getting worse and worse. No, no good. Christmas. Birthday was on a Friday. Damn. It was on a Friday. So Friday. I had to wait that whole weekend. You're right. So, uh, so I mean, it was good though. I was on the contract. They had to pay me out the rest of my contract. Mm. About six to eight months later, I was like, all right, I need to get some work. So I called Reggie. It was like, Reggie, hey, you need anybody down there? He said, come down, do a couple shifts. Let's see how it fit, how it sound. Um, they had some other things they were trying to move around. And he was like, you want to come to Atlanta? I was like, sure. <laughs> Cause I had been here all the time. I had been to Luda's events. I had been to Tremaine events. Been, down you here. know all the stuff that was happening down here. So it was like, it felt right. It was a right fit for me. Everything. This is as it was becoming when I got here in 2013. What it is now. It's all music, film, TV. Everything that is what I do is all here. So it made a lot of sense. So how did the rap city come about? How did? The mogul, the, sh the, the main thing, mm -hmm. the big shebang. Now, how did that come about? So I was already in DC. This is when BET was still in DC. Right. And I used to, I got a call from them. They was like, we need a younger voice to do like little promo stuff. Right. So like I would go down there once a week and be like, Teen Summers brought to you by Snickers. Hungry, why wait? <laughs> like, stuff like that. <laughs> and then every time I was down there, I, my plan worked in radio. I just kept pushing people. I was just bumping into people. Hey, you need me to do something? You need me to do something? You need me to do something? So about six months later, they had a, a Keith Paschal and, and Greg Trent came to me. It was like, we got this segment we want to try one day a week. It was like, it's only two minutes. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Right, right, right. <laughs> it was called Hip Hop News. Right. And I would literally go shoot whatever the Hip Hop News was for the week for two minutes. But I mean, the first time it came on, I was like, I'm in 70 million homes for right. two minutes. I was excited. You right. didn't tell me nothing. So I kept doing that and then the end of the season happened. Uh, it was two hosts at the time. It was 
Uh, Big Les and Joe, Joe Clay. Right. Damn, Damn, the original host, Chris Joe Thomas. <laughs> Shout out, that's how long I've been there. <laughs> Shout out to the mayor. Joe moved to New York, Les moved to uh, LA. They needed somebody local in DC. And since I was already doing a segment on the show, that year was me, Joe, and Les were the three hosts. And KRS One did the intro for the whole show. And I was, you couldn't tell me nothing after that. Right. Um, and then the following year, uh, Stephen Hill took over, and he, he, I, and Craig Henry sat down and came up with this concept we all know as the basement. Oh my man. goodness, man! And there's so much history that come that out that beautiful. building. I just went and did something with Red Grant, who's running for mayor, and you know he Shot was an OG. Yeah, you know what I mean? Shot I nigga, listen to nothing. I can't yeah. call him that. No man, we running for mayor. But uh, <laughs> you know, he we went and did a tour of the building, and I didn't, you know, being from the city, I knew that the building was there. But right. you know, I was watching Summit and everything, but going in there and seeing all of the cubicles and he's showing us all of the history of what you guys laid down in that man. building is amazing, man. It's a lot of a lot of legendary stuff y'all did coming out of that BET building. Mm -hmm. There was a lot happening in the D.C. at that time. If, if, if I, I was in the right place at the right time with the right set of skills a bunch of times, and I just kept pushing. I was relentless. And, you know, that came one of my, before it was a hashtag, that was my hashtag, be relentless. Like, I was like, all right, no? Okay, it was still a pound sign. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> oh, let me ask you this. <laughs> you brought up the hashtag. This was actually trending on Twitter at one point. The, uh, the freestyles. Like, they was trying to figure out who had the coldest Rap City freestyles. Mm -hmm. who, who, who gets your vote? Give me some of your, your top freestyles yes, from, from yes. the air. question, love. Because it was trending, bro. You know, it's it's all of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay, one of my favorites was, is, was Rap City The Bashment, which was me, Elephant Man, Uju Bontai, and Bobby Condes was playing the track. And that was big for me because even today, when I go to the Caribbean, they are still talking about that one freestyle because they had never seen anything like that in Jamaica on national television. Uh, Cameron counting money, of course. That was cold. Uh, that was cold yeah. as fuck, man. Uh, Wayne's, uh, that okay. Wayne verse. Everybody okay. talks about the Wayne yeah, verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wayne uh, talk. Every time, me and Luda had three. <laughs> uh, and the, the one that I remember the most is Luda came in and he was like, he said something like kidnap free and hold it for and ransom for, for ten thousand. And then I, I played right off of that in the freestyle when I jumped in and I was like something something. I was like, um you got me so all up in my feelings. Damn, 10 grand, you better bring 10 million or yeah. something like that. And everybody in the booth was like, ah! So <laughs> me and Luda had three epic ones. I mean, there was so many good ones. LL's one was kind of crazy. DMX, um, of course. There were so many iconic moments. I tell people there's no right or wrong answer. Whatever felt the, the most amazing to you is what it was. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but for you though, like, it, you just named the ones that was the, the the as far as the artist, but as far as you, what do you think your well, best performance in the booth? Yeah. KRS, I got to go on the booth. I grew up on KRS One, so going in with KRS One, going in with Rakim, going in with LL. God MC. <laughs> Like you I, I pumped out with Jay when it. <laughs> <laughs> you did? I was a little nervous. Yeah, Why? Why? I got Jay? excited and then right. he was going and I was like, nah, you got it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> this is when the black album came out. And I was like, if I if I don't kill it after Jay, everybody's gonna talk about how I messed it up. Right. So right. I was like, ah, nah, you good, we good. It's black album for tyrants. Let's go. How you been? Um, did all the episodes you did come yeah. out? I believe all of them came out because mm. uh, we didn't like it wasn't live, but we we taped them like two three days before they came out. Uh, I don't think there's any like vault somewhere of things that we didn't shoot. Right. Um, but it was a, I mean it was a lot of fun to go in there every day and go head, head to head with some people I respected, some people I didn't respect. Mm. Um, and uh, that's to, hard interviewing people like. Well, I mean, the interview part is that's where to be a professional. If I don't, I ain't got to love you, I still got a job. Right. So we're going to talk when we talk. But when we get in the booth, if I felt like you wasn't up to par, I, I came at some people a little harder than other people. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I was like, I know what I could do. Like, you, now here's your 72 million homes. Right. Here's your opportunity to sell 12 million albums. You better show out. And I tell people, you ain't got to come off the top for me. Do whatever's going to sell your album. Facts. Um, some people did better than others. And, <laughs> <laughs> Some people didn't. I mean, yeah, you say who you were like. <laughs> and like real talk, when the camera went out, you nah, like, but that shit was too funny. sensitive, man. They gonna be like, no. I mean, it's old. These nigga old, now nah, no, these nigga like fifty. Nah, no, it don't matter. Yeah, I you were booty, nigga. I, 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 was, was, I had some very, some really dope memories though. Like uh, the first time we ever saw Kanye West in the booth. Okay. 
Kanye came in, and Kanye was very much Kanye behind the scenes. He wanted to, if you watch it, I just saw it again for the first time the other day. He shouts out all his artists, GLC and all that. Uh, he wanted them to come in the booth with him. The network said no, because they didn't know him. Mm. And he he was Kanye to the fullest. He was acting the ass the whole time. Finally, he went in there and did his thing. And I literally was like, dog, this is your first network look on BET and you're gonna say you don't wanna go, you don't wanna do it? Right. Because right. they ain't gonna put your peoples in there? Right. I was like, I'm really talking to him on the set like, are you serious? And he was like, ah, I do it, I do it. So he did it and he smashed it. It was just I mean, there was so many good <clears throat> moments that we saw and people didn't see and behind the scenes things. So I'm really appreciative of that whole situation. Just I got one more about the about the freestyle. Which one of the ladies came through and smashed it? Mm. Which one of the ladies? We had one that had the whole, like a whole lady's first name. Yeah. It was a uh, Rod Digger. Digger. Uh, Digger, Digger. Digger. Moni Love. Moni in the middle. Where's yeah. she at? In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> It was Rod, Moni, oh God, it was on the MC. Jazzy Joyce was on the wheels of steel, and I think it was Trina. Uh, after all of them did like a ladies first type thing in the booth, that was kind of dope. Did Missy ever come in the booth? I think, yes, I think Missy came once. Uh, we had some odds, we had some other moments when people that you wouldn't expect to be in there, Destiny's Child came, uh. Mary J came. We closed it with Mama Tigger, a.k.a. Patti LaBelle. Ooh, uh, she yeah. finally came downstairs. Uh, that was, uh, the man that we can't talk about anymore came by. Yeah. I was just about to ask. I was going to do yeah, it. Because you oh. definitely got a show. Oh. Oh. You don't know who moved your body like a snake, ma. Oh. I was taking oh. off. I was moving oh. your body like a snake, ma. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, them niggas still be listening to that nigga know, shit. Man, man them niggas be uh, Tigger on the Tigger got five songs with him. <laughs> you do. Yeah. You still be listening to it. Now you listen to it. They was boys. Yeah. You know you I got one that came out. Two that came out. The Snake and the Snake remix. All right. Man. There was a remix to a JS song, Ice Cream, that never came out. You think you was on a JS? You was on the Ice Cream? Come and get a scoop of my ice cream, baby. Why ain't no get out? You know what? Yo, I sent me the track, and we was he was like da 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 da. And I sat there, and I still remember that thing. And then I was thinking all his ice cream references in the joint, and I think my verse was um. Whatever you need, I got that. I dream of cookies and cream, strawberry pralines and chocolate. Top that off with whipped cream and ten cherries. Your flavor's more major than any Ben and Jerry's. Watch me, big Tigger, get all up in the shit. Uh -huh. Fresh vanilla butter pecan, I'm gonna lick up uh -huh. your nice rum raisin. Girl, you are amazing. Ice cold, but the way you roll that is Cajun. Mm. See? Mm. <laughs> hey. See? Cajun roll! But I know how it go, and go ice cream, please. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. I'm just happy I remember that. Proud of that one, boy. <laughs> and his band all the way. He going to throw another game out. It's called ice cream, please. Boy, hard for a nigga. What it is? What it is? There you go. <laughs> well, that was good. Yeah, that was so, good. So, like, being as though you would, you. you dabbled in the recording industry, like did you ever just think like, you know what, I'm about to go full time and put an album out? Had a couple meetings, uh, had three meetings. Didn't like the way the meetings went. Mm. I was already doing Rap City. I had a radio show in New York at the time. Um, we, we started Power 105 in New York. Oh, you was on that? Yeah, I was on, when it first launched, I was doing- You're the OG and nice shit, man. Power you niggas started all this shit. Um, so I mean, it was like, I had two other hustles and I was like, for me to put a hustle down, because I was going, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta focus on it. And I was like, for me to put a hustle down in a, in a platform now, this deal gotta be right. And they was kinda, oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. The snake was out, was going crazy. So I was like, really, we don't know? So I was like, <laughs> the other difference for me is I had an outlet every day at four o'clock. So anytime I went, you know, like the best, that's why a lot of artists' first album is their best. They got 20 years of what they've been going through, what they've been feeling, they just, ah, you know, and they first album's like, okay. Then the second album, they gotta go live some more to, you know, put it together. I was every day, either on radio, just doing my show, Rap City in the booth. So I had lots of different ways to express myself. So I wasn't like, I gotta get this shit out. Um, so I mean, it, it, I didn't get the, it is the music business and the business wasn't right. So that's why we never got an album. So how much music are you sitting on? <laughs> 
No, you sitting on a lot of shit. Yeah, you just wait. If you just, don't tell you, you, you got a lot of shit. You wanna hear enough? I got a lot. Hey, hey, hey. That's when I wrote a 99. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> this is um, about chips. Um, Y'all ain't shit. I would say I, 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 I could do a music, but it's all mostly dated at this point. At one point, uh, I, I was when Swiss first launched Full Surface. Mm. It was uh, Cassidy, uh, Mashonda, uh, Bounty Killer, and people don't know Tigger. And we was working on. I they did a mixtape, Full Surface mixtape, which was like da da da. I did a verse on it. Uh, Mashonda's record at the time, but we was working it out, working out, and then it just didn't work out. Um, so I mean, I got some songs and. Me and Swiss did some things together. So me, like me and Swiss, always like, yeah, remember that dirty? It was like, um, it's been a lot of fun, man. We did a remix to a song, another song that didn't come out. Uh, yeah. It was a, it was a song for, for RL. RL had a song that Swiss did, and I think it was a remix, but it didn't come out. But I was like, even RL, but like, yo, that verse, I remember that verse. So I mean, the long story short is, I, I don't have any regrets. Um, I did what I was supposed to do. I'm at where I'm supposed to be. Right, too. Uh, I mean, I made it to the trap, so I gotta be winning. Hey, shit. boy, you in the motherfucking <laughs> trend now. <laughs> One thing about it. That's big. Man, Making it to the trap. Fuck all that other shit, nigga. <laughs> trap. This right. shit gonna come out, too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm more damper, though. We gonna after, put it out. After years of working, like, what keeps you motivated? Because you didn't, you know I mean? If you were to sit down now, your legacy is cemented. So what is there left for you to do? Even with doing all this, like what keeps you just going? I think, first of all, most of the stuff that I do is fun. You know, hosting, you know, for the Falcons, being a PA announcer for the Hawks, Big Ticket Morning Show on V103. Um, I mean, I had a new show this last past summer on Revolt mm -hmm. called Off Top. Um, all the stuff that I get to do is usually fun. And I, if it's not fun, it has to be so enormously, ridiculously lucrative that I'm like, all right, I'll do. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I've, I've been able to, to to move in that way in a lot of ways. Um, other than, I mean, uh, I just like doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have a lofty goal or anything. Like, oh, I want to go down and, you know, like I just, the whole time I've just been blessed that people respect me for being me because I've been me the whole time. Like people who met me back then, like, oh, you say, you know, all right. okay. you ain't get brand new on me. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like the, the thing that keeps me moving is uh, I'm still viable, still, you know, somebody relevant. To, you know, this is my 28th year in radio, mm. 25th in television. God damn, I'm about to be 30, man. That's I was crazy. a baby when you was first getting a job. Finally got some old niggas up here. Yeah, yeah, like, come on. Hey, let, let me ask you this, man. As, a, as, a older, as an older gentleman. An elder statesman. Yeah, how do, how do you find the new shit? Like the you new know? rap, yeah, the new shit. Some of it is better than others. But I'm saying, how do you find it? Because a lot of this shit... Oh, where do you locate Yeah, it? where you locate oh, well, your... Because I, I got a young nigga that put me up on the young shit. <laughs> well, luckily, I work at a radio station, and I usually be like, Greg, what's crazy? I don't work at the radio or, station. Is or what's crazy? My young nigga be like, hey, OG, this is one of the ones. You might fall with this one. Yeah, so I just... I'm, apparently, Super Gremlin is a thing. Right. Yeah. 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 That's the That's whole shit. If I have a Super Gremlin's thing, I just had to find that out, you know, from other people. I, I just... That's kind of the way around the station I asked my young my young people at the station yeah. Sturgis uh, Greg Street uh, Swamp Izzo Peanut I'd be like alright what's poppin yeah. they'd be like oh this is crazy this is crazy this is crazy I'm like, yeah, they right. just put me up on this dude Big Yavo Big Yavo yeah yeah Big yeah, Yavo, I Big Yavo. okay I got to So, so at 28 years and uh, pushing 30 years, my question to you, Ben, is though we just getting really started in our journey in this game for real, for real. Like, what, what would you say the time where it stopped being about money for you? Like, where the, where the money stopped being the motivation and you was just like, you know what? Yeah, because I don't want to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real. Hold like, on, let's be clear. I always like I mean, much. You know, I mean, you know, when I say the money stopped being because you just said if I'm doing something that's fun unless it's super duper loose. Right, right, I'm right, sure right. there was a time where it didn't have to be super lucrative. We were just like, a check. Yep. I got it. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, I learned at some point that not all the bags are good bags. So I've been offered some bags to do some things that wouldn't sit well with me. Mm -hmm. Or to be in places that I probably shouldn't be. Or, doing, you know, like it was just, I, I remember like 
Like back then, I remember that I got offered to do something with malt liquor, and malt liquor wasn't, you know, like even though I drank it, I wasn't about to be running around telling everybody else to drink malt liquor. Right, 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 um, right. And then, so it was just like different. So I, I always tell people, for y'all who are doing amazing well, um, I would tell you to always stay true to your brand, stay true to your, yourself. As long as you can get up in the morning, look yourself in the mirror, and be like, I'm good with me, and still put, cut the lights on, then you should be happy, you know what I'm saying? You can always want bigger and better, but it gotta start there. Like, you gotta be able to be like, all right, me and me, and me is good. I feel good about me inside. I can wake up, I can still go to sleep. I ain't worried about, oh man, I shouldn't have did that. You know what I'm saying? That's the hardest trade-off with the money part. Um, I would just to continue to tell y'all the bag is, we all chasing the bag all day long, but sometimes you're like, mm, yeah, maybe not. Mm -hmm. When in the first time you do it, you're just like, you'll notice it. It ain't, it's not like something specific that happened, it's just like, I don't know what you be like, mm. Mm -hmm. that's great. I don't know about that one. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do the Trump rally. <laughs> you know, right, right. Something like that. Yeah. I'd do it. <laughs> I'd do it. Nah. I wish the fuck I would. And pull what up would, on the boat. What would you do? Shit, what they won't do. <laughs> I'm gonna charge these motherfuckers so much money. You go, you gonna wait out there, niggas lay man. What? Well, you know we gonna get Carlos out there. He's gonna Bro, man. 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 Shot gonna get Carlos out there. Y'all gonna look on Fox News? They gonna be on there. Black people have to make a way for themselves. Stop. A lot! <laughs> a lot! <laughs> Slavery was misinformation! <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I'm gonna come back in there. Hell no, nah, he's bullshit! No, he ain't bullshit! No, he ain't! He ain't got his clone. It's a clone! Shit! <laughs> you know that nigga from Mississippi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 That nigga can't be wait! Go home I've been waiting to leave nah, you, nigga! Can't nick. wait! <laughs> Can't wait for my to cook me a drink. Watching this, I knew I had one of them. <laughs> nah, 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 I had one of them. Like, like, yeah, we're gonna get that guy. Right he's now. gonna see that shit and be like, "Look at my African man." <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that nigga's stupid. Oh man, yeah. is there anybody that you ever wanted to get in the booth with that you didn't? Oh, uh, hmm. I wasn't. A, he's gone before. Two people, big and pop, passed mm. before the show happen. Um, anybody else I really wanted? I think I pretty much got in with just about everybody else. Thanks. Uh, I would have loved to get in with ODB, pass before it happened. That shit would have been legendary. Oh my god. <laughs> I just wonder, I would just wonder how, what his opening bar would have been. Yeah. <laughs> you stinking ass! You stinking ass! <laughs> what if you got Michael Jackson in that motherfucker? Man, that, come that on. That would have been so cool. Mike Tigger, I got it, Tigger. Tigger, I got it. I got it. I Put just missed on. him at the, so the one time he came to BET was, I was backstage when he came off the stage and it was like a line of people. We was all waiting to be like, hi, ah, Mike. And if soon he was like, right, right where you at, they made him go that way. And I was like, no! He was close. <laughs> but you saw him. I saw, I saw him as close. He was close. That's, close. Close. that's uh, it. That, I, that, nah, that's nah, I needed to dap Mike up. <laughs> was he standing there or was he floating? <laughs> He was kind of floating. Because that is also <laughs> said that nigga can go from over there to over there and nobody would even see him move. No. Him and, it was him and James Brown coming off the God stage. damn! Because th that's what he did at the BET Awards. That's board. a lot. That's they, a lot. It was honoring James oh. Brown and he came out and put the cape on James Brown and then did the little James Brown with James Brown and we was all like that. <gasps> and as soon as I saw that, I was like, I'm going backstage because I know what side they're coming off of. I went backstage and was sitting there like this. I would say hi to Michael Jackson. And right. He was like, eh. I was like, damn. Damn. I mean, that Miss Mike, that definitely would have caught James. James, 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 James. James, James. What do you say? What do you say? Go for himself, man. Hell yeah. He said that shit on the camera. I need that. James, James, James. He said that shit on the camera. Say what's up, man. I'd love to see you and James Brown, nigga. Me and James. I would have a couple of legs and James Brown. Hey, do that. What the fuck are you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> What's one no of the cap. craziest rooms you've been in? You got the Michael Jackson, James Brown story. Right. Like you ever looked up in the room and be like, ain't nobody ever gonna believe this shit if I tell them. Um, James Brown, I'm gonna cover up. Let me think about it for a second. So I remember one year, <laughs> we were at New Year's, it was New Year's Eve in Miami. And we were at the Delano, I think. Right. And I think Jamie Foxx and Snoop were performing. 
So they had like this dinner. We went to Snoop's room. Snoop introduced, I don't really smoke that often, but every once in a while. Snoop had this, he had a little mini coffee grinder. Snoop, <laughs> Snoop brought, he had one little L out, passing around. Everybody was high, he was like, oh man. Hold up, well see, you heard that? Did you hear that? Well, that nigga had everybody high off one little one, L. But it was this long, it was this long. So and, and everybody was like, oh, he was like, oh, nephew, that's the warm up weed. <laughs> Went in the back, came out of his little coffee grinder, and four like pounds and made this thing he called gumbo. What did he, he call it? He, he, he called it gumbo. He took a pinch out of his bag, put it around, pinch out of his bag, put it around, put it in, it came out like powder. <laughs> put it, it was another lung with like lungs that they was, I was like, Snoop. <laughs> Man, I, we was, we, we went to dinner. So it was me, Snoop, Jane Fox, Luda, Gabrielle Union, Sanaa Lathan, and me and Gabby was cool. These all like, sound like high ass people that you know. That shit crazy. He motherfucking high. Everybody in the house like, why is he telling this story? Tigger! <laughs> 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 Everybody know we ain't in there smoking the whole ass bro. Billy Joe? Out of nowhere, Billy, Billy Joe. Joe. The piano? Billy Joe? Damn, Billy Joe. Billy, Billy Joe. We was like, wait. Uptown girl? <laughs> Billy Joe. Billy Joe and his mom. made that nigga sing that shit. <laughs> hey, Billy, man, Uptown girl over there. I'm from Uptown. Talk about my bitches one time for me, Billy. <laughs> Billy Joe. And I was like, Billy Joe. So we're walking to dinner, <laughs> and I'm telling Gabby, that I'm like, Gabby, don't let me sit next to Sana. I had a crush on Sana. I was like, do not let me sit next to Sana. I'm high. I don't know what I'm going to say to Sana. Right, right, right. We get up to the table, Gabby's like, Tig, you should sit next to Sana. I was like, bitch. <laughs> So I'm sitting there like, hi. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> I, I was nervous the whole dinner. I, I spilled the water. I fumbled. I love some that too. It was a failure, but Damn. it was a fun failure. But I, I just remember when it was all a cool vibe, and then Billy Joel popped up. And there was somebody else I can't remember who didn't fit that 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 room. You're like, where the hell did they come from? <laughs> like Emmanuel Stewart or something like that popped up. We were like, what's happening? <laughs> 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 you ain't talking about the little... Yeah. Ah. Not Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel Stewart is the boxer coach. That's the boxer coach. Emmanuel Lewis. Him showing up That's what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> but he be everywhere, though. You see him well, now everywhere. Well, he everywhere, oh, yeah. but back Man. then you ain't see him that often. Yeah, like Emmanuel Lewis, he just be popping up. Emmanuel Lewis just be popping up. You can be at the U-Ball on Camp Creek, and he'll just walk in. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you made me lose that crucial one night. Who <laughs> <laughs> you know in here, man? They ain't gonna jump you in here, man. Get that. With some gaggers on. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that was, I mean, oh, man. That was some good rules. Hey, you lose it, man. You know, I, I say you got to be man. around all the culture, man, and just see shit happen man, for the first time. You did wildin' out that first time. We was all I was so excited. No, no, man, <laughs> Lewis ain't never did wildin' out, man. I'm gonna say that one before me. I was a lick. All that way in. I'm gonna grab these you ain't gonna be able to pick him up. Don't think that. <laughs> Don't pick him up. You ain't gonna be able to. <laughs> Why would like Strong as a motherfucker. Nigga, he's like a baby gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> You can't pick up a baby gorilla, uh, nigga. <laughs> nobody, nobody said he wasn't an adult. That nigga that stupid as hell, bro. Think he's had a baby oh gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it happens. You're not gonna be able to pick up that stupid. Right? And a heavyweight. Yeah, nigga like a paperweight. <laughs> I'll just keep it right there, yeah. Oh, oh that's God. crazy here. Big shit poppin', man. So you've been announcing for the Falcons. Yep. What now with the host? The Falcons gave me a section called the Dirty Birds Nest. A section How do you keep from old. cussing? Uh, carefully. Are <laughs> uh, you a fan of well, the Falcons? I am a fan of the Falcons now. Uh -oh. oh, damn. Yeah, that's how you kept from cussing. He ain't care. I don't know how you do that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you be on that mic and not say, fuck. <laughs> well, Please, do a radio yeah, on the style help. Cause I have to go, you know, you do it. I had to give me a bleep button. I have to. I, Yo, you do it, <laughs> you know you can do it. So I'm saying, you just get up. Like, I've been doing radio, so I just, you know, when I know that click that might come on, I know. 
I, I just can't go that way. Mm-hmm. But you got to look, look, like literally look at the name sometimes. You be like, uh, who they just got out? 54? <laughs> 54 yeah. Williams. All right. <laughs> Lost for five yards. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, that, that, honestly, the names is the hardest part for the Hawks because there's mm. some names, especially all the European players. Facts. There's, there's some, you know, Bogdanoviches and Vuceviches mm. and. Uh, I love when them names be like that. I wish my name was European like that. What? Carlos Chokovic. (laughs) Or Carlos Keeperbitch. (laughs) DC (laughs) Fuckabitch. She called Desma Bitch. That's what it sounds like. She go, that's my bitch. She go, that's my bitch. <laughs> oh, you tell you got the coldest name in the whole thing, though. Ooh. Greg Popper, bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he did it. Greg Popper, bitch. Damn, he did it, dude. Yeah, so I mean, the, the Falcons thing was fun, but, you know, this year transition in the PA announcement for the Hawks was, I had DJ 12 years in the league, five for the Wizards, seven for, uh, seven for the Hawks. Hawks. Nigga, once you, you get a job, job, you keep that yeah, money. Yeah, you did it for the Wizards. That man don't play no game. Yeah. His first job. Ain't no such thing as an intern. Yeah. He like, you looking for an intern or you got a, a, a long position? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do short shit. He done survived through three so, company changes. My right, name right. cost five years. So, so, so what do you, would you say was the, the best game that you've been a part of that you can remember? Oh, man. Uh, the entire playoff run last year for the Hawks was amazing. That shit was crazy. Especially coming off the pandemic, we went, we had no people up until like playoffs, and then we was like, oh, we might not make that first round. Oh, made that first round. Okay. Then the second round, we had all kinds of swagger in there, and we was popping, we was big things popping, like we was talking crazy, talking. And <laughs> I got an exclusive announcement. It just came through the fax machine. <laughs> what is that? Y'all talking all this stuff about the home? <laughs> so I mean, like the the energy in, in State Farm during the entire playoff. Mm-hmm was just the, the most fun, that was the most fun games I had been at. Hey, right, Tigger, announce this for me. You want me to announce that? Yeah, because you the announcer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I want the world to know. What, can y'all get ready. Just act, act normal, y'all. Act normal. Act like I am now know. announcing, ladies and gentlemen, uh, exclusively uh, available uh, beginning February 4th. There is a brand new Forever 404 85 South retail merch collabo. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta come back. Oh, we on fire! We on fire! We on fire! Look, I just want to get us a little. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. It's I don't even see it's that. It say Hawks, right? Oh, it's oh, oh, say Hawks. Yeah. yeah. Then flip it over. Then you flip it over. Oh, you oh, gotta look at the sleeve. You gotta look at the sleeve. You gotta look at the sleeve. ATL, ho. You gotta look at the sleeve. ATL, ho. 85 South. All right. ATL. Oh, God, it's good. Put that logo on the front, too. It's on the front, too. Yo, now we got some more. Up there at the top. Yeah, right there. Now we got some more. How that look to you? We don't have no more. How that look to you? How that feel? Okay, I'm gonna grab some of these. Two hoodies. This is one. And he's says one short sleeve, one's long sleeve. Uh, beginning February 4th inside State Farm Arena at the Hall Shop. You see that thing right there, though? <laughs> They'll be available all the way up until this is another part Ooh. to this thing. Wait, wait, shh, hold up, part two. You got your part, part two. two. Okay. Part two. There's going to be a Forever 404 85 South whole thing happening March 31st. Y'all going to have your own ticket package. Hey. Oh. Amazing you will get a ticket, you will get a t-shirt, and a $10 food and beverage credit. And what? Yeah. We gonna close the hot, the hot dog is $10 already. Oh Bring some money, cause the hot dog is $10 already. <laughs> but you ain't gonna have to pay for that, you ain't gonna have to pay for that, cause we gonna provide you right. with the $10 to get at least one item, at least a hoodie, one. and a ticket Who? to what? Who? We. Who? Us. Us. <laughs> out of what? Out of what budget? <laughs> the budget that's already established. Oh yeah, it's coming from us. <laughs> it's already done. It's already done. Yeah. Look, I, I'm about to crack because I ain't never make it to the NBA. Right? <laughs> wow. But this is good enough. We right? got traffic, my boy. <laughs> God is good. I really feel like last year that run. Remember. 
remember, I don't know if y'all y'all remember when before the season started, we went to the Hawks Stadium and we did that thing where we announced all of the games and when they was playing, and then they end up going to the finals. So, I mean, this year with hey, this, hey, hey, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I'm just saying, bro, we real know. ghetto legends for this one right yeah, there. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> now, congratulations. This is a good look. I mean, because everybody don't want this. Everybody's gonna want this. Yeah. I mean, A's the, it's the right colorway. Yeah. It's got the 85 South one. It's several yeah. times. Several times. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you know, like it's, this is this is this is kind of the thing to be rolling around in. So, can we give a shout out to the Hawks for you know? Yeah. 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 Trust us. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know she's, she probably don't want no you know loving lady here is uh, in the back. You know what I mean? She is uh, very very instrumental in us being. Just say JS. Say JS. You know I don't hey, do JS. JS. Like, yeah. But thank you so much, ma'am. But thank you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's so good. Nah, for real, man. I'm about to cry, man. That's, that's big, man. Nah, that's 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 bruh. That's I mean, that's, like, that's the one thing I appreciate about the Hawks, to be quite honest. Um, they are so interested in being a part of blending the culture. Fast. You know, it's not, their whole thing is basketball. Basketball is entertainment, and we live in the home of entertainment. Right. So whether it be, you know, the Migos, whether it be... That's Big what Boy, I was just about to say, bro. They, mm-hmm. gotta, they gotta get Quavo a 10-day. <laughs> he could have caught one during the damn pandemic. All I'm saying is, bro, they just need to, they really want to lock in. Just let them hoop. I need a 10 day. Sign, I'm good. Sign one of the Migos, man. Yeah. They I'm good get for in. a post up. What? what? My shoulder's so far. gotta get in if he's just on the bench. Well, he ain't getting paid. He ain't doing nothing with what he's already doing in the game. Yeah, you gotta put him in the game. Going crazy in the layup line. You gotta put him in the game, you know they gonna win. Crazy in the layup line. Yeah, you gotta put him in the game, you know, when they playing somebody, you know they gonna beat, like, the Magics. I think it's gonna start a trend. Orlando Magic. It's gonna start a trend. What? Watch, you gonna go to the Falcon game next year, and the Falcon gonna be like, yeah, y'all know we 4 p.m. Oh, most definitely. what it is. Yeah, hey, yeah. Falcons, that's what it is. You want to win next season? Hey, man, include us in the. Hey, we got some socks for something. Y'all need to do down. something. Y'all need to do something. 85 South Mercedes Benz socks. 28 and 3. That's what we doing. I want to pull up in a Mercedes Benz. Facts. I need for y'all to win. Fuck that Mercedes Benz. 28 and 3. Oh, don't bring that up. No, we're gonna bring it up. He did hell like they forgot. You know, he, hey, we had to talk yeah, to him about the he was, he was, he was, I remember that video. He was in a dock, like, it was in a dock. He was in a car, I was like, flat. I was in a car by myself, bro. It, yeah. was a, it was a hint, it was, it was like one of the street lights, right? Yeah, Somebody was, walked by and was like, go pay trade. I said, why? Whoop your ass, boy. <laughs> yeah, oh, everything was, I, I remember oh, that video. Bro, what? He was like, we can't have shit. I was like, fly, please, bro. So wherever you at, don't fly. start the car. How, how much was we celebrating at Hamtown? What was we thinking about? Listen, I was in a house what was nigga. everybody talking about? I was about. on their head, nigga. I was, I walk around, everybody like they here. Tom who, nigga. Tom who, nigga. Tom who, nigga. By the third quarter, everybody was looking at me. They be like, so what's up? What's, what's up with your father now? I was like, I just want y'all to leave me alone. <laughs> why, why y'all got a gag up on me? Why? I'm the only person in here that's a Falcon fan. Am I the only one that's a Falcon fan? Man. 20. The whole I mean, city I was, was thinking about Magic City Monday. I was watching Monday. the game, right? And there was some Falcons fans. We was watching the game. Nigga said the coldest shit ever. They the one the game. This was big cold. He was. I forget who was performing at halftime. Who performed at halftime? So you remember that's, that? Nobody that's knows. A, oh, that's a blur. Yeah, uh, but he was like, yeah, they will no longer be performing. The fat lady will be singing at halftime. I was like, damn. It was looking like that. Then after the game, it was like, ooh. When that nigga caught that ball on that nigga helmet, I said, I know we finna lose. Ain't no way in hell a nigga can call up over another nigga and on his head. He had the ball on his head like, look, bitch, I caught it with your help. I caught it with your help, stupid. We're about to win. Y'all rubbing it in. They ain't going to call us. Cut it out. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Shout out to the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. They were going to... Season ticket. I got season ticket at the Hawk. They just sent me the little plant saying thank you, oh, season yeah, member. Okay. I got that last season, season member. And that's one of the reasons why I love, you know, I respect it like Atlanta so much. I love Atlanta so much is because it's one of the only places where you can come from as a black 
person. You know what I mean? You can come from anywhere in, a, in America and find a way here and be embraced if you're doing Indeed. good business mm -hmm. and making a way. You know what I mean? Tickets from New York, I'm from DC, you from Atlanta, you from Mississippi, people from all over. But if you come to Atlanta and do good business and got, you know, some product that's worth having, the people will embrace you and it'll be a well, space for you to do it. Hell here. yeah, it's like a big ass not. Walmart. Yeah, exactly. It's the only place you in bring America. As long as you try, niggas gonna fuck with you. Exactly. No cap. It's the only place in America you can come as a black person, get some money, and not be looked at like, damn, you the only nigga out here doing something. Right, because niggas in Atlanta be looking at you like, damn, he got no money? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just got him. Everybody got some money around this one. We do a lot with motherfuckers that be new acting like they, they, they been here. You say what? I said we just be hating when motherfuckers be new acting like they been here. Oh, you can tell who ain't been here. The traffic. You can tell who don't know. <laughs> Man, I mean, like the whole trash plan versus Grady baby thing was the thing when I you first won. got here. And I was like, all right. I was, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I ain't from here. I'm, I'm, I, see, I'm born in Jordan Baptist, which is, was, uh, what that shit is? I forgot what that's in Latin America now, off, okay. uh, off the boulevard. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? My shit still ain't in Atlanta. Uh -huh. I just say the oh, coldest yeah. shit when they be like, nigga, ain't you from Atlanta? I be like, boy, I make my kids in Atlanta. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's fine. That's fine. Nigga, I make babies in Atlanta. What are you talking about? That's fine. What? Nigga, can't say that again, my wife. Nigga, that's fine. 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 Real talk. Real talk. You gotta tell them folks. He gotta do that shit just like that. What are you talking about? Real talk. Nigga, can't say that again. No cap. No cap. I don't know where this shit come from. Yeah. Oh, no, who we be talking to? We'll talk to you over here. Why, I fuck with you, sir. <laughs> All right, well, I fuck with you. What was your favorite Atlanta word when you got here? Uh... Shit, this nigga, uh, most of the shit that I learned and know about Atlanta, this is my consigliere to Atlanta shit. I be asking this nigga like a real tour. It's like, all right, what's real Atlanta? What's not Atlanta? I'm saying like, there's a, like, when I first got to Atlanta, I just noticed Atlanta had their own words. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you got all what the was your favorite word when you got here? Uh, I got what I <laughs> Shit, I don't know. That's a good one, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Damn, that's a my good My favorite question. Atlanta word is fuck. <laughs> F U T. <laughs> That's I fuck good. with shit, boy. <laughs> yeah, man, probably really... be boy, hey boy, hey boy, fuck back, boy. They put boy. a W in boy. Hey, boy, boy. boy. It's word. just if you, huh? It's just uh. My favorite word I got here was a uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, pussy ass nigga. Pussy ass fuck wife. It's all one word. Yeah. <laughs> hey, time out. Hey, time out. Like, lamb. Like, lamb. 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 Lamb is 11. Lamb. 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 Yeah, we just say lamb. L-E-M. Lamb. Ain't no T's in the lamb. 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 That can go either way. <laughs> nigga can walk in and be like, boy, I gotta have surgery on my leg. Third, nigga might look at him like, here you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but then nigga be confused though, like, man, here you talking about. You feel me? Like, nigga be like, about to me. Nigga jump out the car with the pills. Here you talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> here you talking about. Real talk. I, I would want it to be okay. some good dudes though. Man, this shit, nigga, we just got the motherfucking deal with a letter five. The Hawks, nigga. Yeah, you talk about. Hey, 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 <laughs> I'm talking about the time out here. I hate time out here. I've been in <laughs> enough places to learn to listen first. Yeah, exactly. I, I listen first. I yeah, absorb I got stuff. The dope lock, Before but... I try it, I listen. You know what I'm just okay, saying? I just man. listen to how people talk, what they talking about. And, then I, and shout out to Lil Bankhead, who was at the station when I he my just boy. got back to. Bankhead, Bankhead was my hood. He was definitely my hood guy. And I was like, Bankhead, well, what if? <laughs> Hey, I told him he was somewhere. Shout and them could be more than somewhere. one person too. Just know that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout and them could be one, one person <laughs> or a hundred niggas. I know he was somewhere. He called me. He was like, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. I'm like, where you at? He was like, I'm on the woo woo woo. And I was like, shit. Hold up. Let me let me let me do my nigga GPA right quick. Hold up. Where you at? Yeah. Hey, my boy, you scrape? You yeah, know I can got down. No way. I I was I was on the east side. I was on the east side, he called me, he was like, boy, you straight? I'm like, nigga, 
You know I'm here. You're like, hell yeah, yeah, bye, but you want me to the side of town, I might not be able to get to you, bye, you straight. I'm like, man, I'm good, all right, you know, I was just making sure. I'm like, nigga, how the hell you know I was here? He was like, shit, here you talking about. I'm like, all right, bet, bro, appreciate you for looking out, nigga. Nigga, you ain't said it, nigga, nigga gonna say so. Nigga, like, what you gonna be, what you know? I said, I know now. <laughs> But they got this shit divided for real, nigga. West Side nigga don't go to the East Side. They East Side got nigga all that definitely them. don't go to the West Side. He said, I remember I was asking him, like, what's the difference? He was like, nigga, I, every time I was over there, I was like, boy, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what, mm -hmm. and, and I just, and just, break it, um, just resonated with me, right? They have people look at a level. You know how we be in LA? When we go to LA, we might be in LA. Long Beach, Pasadena, Santa Monica, Hollywood, Watts, Hollywood. Hollywood. We in all these yeah. different cities. We in all these different cities, but if somebody calls you, you're like, where you at? Well, I'm in LA. Now how these niggas do Atlanta? These niggas might be in Stone Mountain, Las Vegas, <laughs> Decatur, <laughs> Snellville, <laughs> Gwinnett. You call them niggas, where they at? Boy, I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> You're not in Atlanta, my boy. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, it is what it is. We kind of like embrace it where it's just like, we, we couldn't fight that shit, but yeah, like, we could not. One. Tell I a nigga from Snellville, you're not from Atlanta, he looking you up and down. <laughs> why I'm small in Atlanta, why you like, no, you are not. I feel you, bro. What's on? No, you not. I that's the same way I feel about oh, the DMV. You, you like, not. you is Hager Town. That is not oh, the, where you at, DC? No, you're not. You oh, are in Hager Town, Maryland, <laughs> sir. It's not even a metro bus that go we out We have our own school called Atlanta <laughs> Public School. You go to Gwinnett. <laughs> I'm not from Atlanta. That shit bothers him. Ooh, that <laughs> shit be bothered. But you know, I got old while I was like, bro. It don't matter. It don't even matter, I, bro. I, I think like, everybody I trying to make that, that Bay Area type feel, you know, because the Bay Area and Bray, all the cities of the all Bay Area, right. it's accepted. San Francisco, Vallejo, you know what I mean? All the different mm. stock. But well, see, they came that. up with a word to represent everybody. They was just outskirts, like, shit, let's just steal their name. <laughs> <laughs> they already hot, shit. We just gonna take it Atlanta. They ain't need nobody know. We stay in Spells, man. Nobody know we stay in Lothonia. Uh, Lothonia? I'm sorry, Lothonia. That sound like it's far. Lothonia about 50 minutes out. <laughs> Listen, 285 is called Lithonia. They be called Lithonia. <laughs> but this way it get tricky though, Lo. I mean, go Chico, this way it get tricky then. You got APA, mm -hmm. then you got Fulton County. Now we got counties. Now Fulton County is the full Atlanta on the west side. We don't share no other county. We don't move no, no, none of that, no, no. On the east side, you got a little bit of Fulton County, but then you got the Cab County. Mm -hmm. They got their own county. Now you got some other cities who share our county. But that's considered Atlanta. The east side is considered Atlanta, right? Yeah, we got, we got east side too, but it ain't me. <laughs> that's why I call Decatur. <laughs> they got their own city. It's that shit huge. What about the south side? That's it's south Park. of Atlanta. But Col College Park is his own city. Mm -hmm. College Basically Park, Georgia. anywhere in Georgia they got their own police. That's a whole nother city. East Point, literally all this in the sun, East Point is another city. Wow. East Point, Georgia. Yeah. Collin Park, George. Yeah, this shit get deep. I just, I'm just really from Atlanta. But this shit's so <laughs> Let me show you how fucking crazy this shit like, is. Like, I don't know no matter all that extra shit, but I know who y'all really is, though. If I leave my house and make a right, I go to Atlanta. Okay. If I can make a left, Nigga, I ain't gonna tell you what other part is. I, I stay right in the middle. Right. Part. It's a nigga over there talking about, I'm throwing. trying to figure out where he is. No, I ain't gonna tell him, nigga. I know exactly where he is. If I go this way, I'm right there. Okay, right there. Okay, that way, yeah. That way, yeah. Hey, hey, this way, yeah. This way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that way, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, this way, yeah. This way, yeah. Nah, no cap, no, bro. But see, I love that shit, because even, like, it's so many people that's moving down here. It's making the outskirts even get better. Mm -hmm. So you can be at Lovejoy and all that. Eventually, them places are gonna get better because there's gonna be so many people moving here, you feel me? Like, they ain't doing nothing but just building shit. Everywhere, yep. I'm talking about they building apartments out of nowhere. You like, they doing this for a reason. They got a plan. Niggas, motherfuckers ain't making no $9 million projects out here for no reason. Trust me. That's the other thing that's really dope about the Hawks, though, is because there are so many people not from Atlanta here. Facts. But people love the organization, they love the team, the players. Like, for that type of energy to be in the building, you would've thought everybody from east side, west side, Facts. southwest, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But there's so many people that's from, you know, like, from everywhere else that all call here home now right. that represent for these teams and represent for that energy. So, like, that's one of the things that's kind of really dope Man, about the Hawks. the culture coming out of this city is so strong. They didn't remember, I would say Atlanta's been the most influential city in the rap game for what? 
what, 20 years now, damn it. I mean, when you think about what then came out of this, out of everywhere, the most consistently represented city in hip hop has been Atlanta mm. since like 2000. This one of the only yeah. cities where niggas can have fun. <laughs> say a nigga. Yeah. yeah. Be a yeah. nigga. Yeah. I'm talking about as a nigga. Like, yeah. say think about it. You can do all this shit, nigga. You can go shopping. You can beat the girl of your dreams three, four times. <laughs> you can go to the strip club. You can go to the strip club. You can have a like birthday a five star party. restaurant in the strip club. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I tell you, man, he took me to the Blue Flame. And I don't, I don't do strip clubs because I respect the culture. And I know I'm not giving you bitches no money, so I don't go. Because <laughs> I respect what y'all are doing. But he was like, nah, man, don't even worry about that. I'm going to take you and show you something else. So we go to the Flame, and everybody know him because he'd have been all in and out the culture or whatever. So I go sit down. I'm like, man, I'm hungry. Let's Take me to the somewhere get something to eat real quick. He was like, nigga, shut up and just dr shut up. I got you. When we get in there, man. I look at the menu. I was like, man, this is set up. They ain't selling all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way, nigga. Steak, tits, <laughs> and macaroni and cheese and braised collards. I'm like, they make it shit. That macaroni eat. with the little string I'm, of macaroni yeah, and cheese. Yeah, I'm, right right I'm sitting there eating this shit and this ass everywhere. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm ever leaving. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going. No, I see that how you get. You come down here. You come from a place where they don't even let the women. Get naked in the strip club. Yeah. No and kidding. Come down that's here, one of my favorite things to do. And bro. you got a plate full what, of grandma's no. cooking. When my like God. my OG uncles and shit, like when the family come to town, they always nephew, come on, we going tonight. <laughs> We going. Okay. Boy, you taking the motherfucking blue flame. They would talk about that shit for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> shit, hey, my head about seven years. Come on, tell, tell <laughs> Hey, hey, when we in there, dig. Hey. Come on, hey. Tell hey. <laughs> <laughs> My nephew out there doing it now. Hey, hey, hey. All stripper no in man. Tell you, hey. All stripper no in man. We in VIP. I'm drinking at the bar and every motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Wait to go back. <laughs> Same with this thing. I remember the first time we we had we did our first live show at the uh, the Smith's old bar. Afterwards, we got our little you know we had broke down a little buddy. We made wasn't no buddy for real. This nigga DC said, "Hey nigga, this is he said. I'm about to go throw all this shit." I'm like, where, where you gonna throw it at? He was like, "I'm about to go throw all this shit." <laughs> Tonight, I'm like, it works. <laughs> hey, I don't even know why he's telling me that shit. I'm just standing there smoking. This nigga walk up to me and whisper, Hey, Gigo, I'm about to go throw all this shit. <laughs> I'm like, that shit make you do the city is, is, I went to the flame. Oh, <laughs> see? That my uncle club text me from the flame. The boy, he'll go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I be screaming in that moment like an old player, like, y'all bitches know when y'all see me. Y'all know how I get down. Come on, wait for a minute. You can tell, you, I can tell you were raised by some old niggas around here because you do the classic shit. Mm. Nigga, throw the money and leave. Yeah, you don't, Soon you don't, as you get through, you got to leave. Don't hang leave. around. Don't, don't hang around. I learned my lesson. You, you, you'll get hurt because when another nigga throw more money than you, you be like, man, I should have left. No, I learned leave. my lesson. I should have left. We did that shit with Wildin' Out. We went to the, man, they went with the Magic City for wildin' out that time we first started shooting in Atlanta. And I'm thinking, man, all right, I'ma go ahead. Don't nobody know me. We at Magic City, man. You know what I mean? It's straight. So we walk in, I ain't got no money. I'm thinking I'ma go in there, stand around for a second and leave. Nigga was like, I know we ain't got that boy Chico Bean in here, bitch. I was like, hey, hey, go get me $500. Listen, listen. That's all I'm trying to do. Cause I'm not listen, gonna fuck my listen. name up in here. That's why I don't like going in my name. You gotta throw some money. You gotta throw some money. Monday is competition night. Yeah, you can't go. This is who throw the most money. You ain't even enjoying yourself. I'm not going I don't on Monday. know what y'all was looking at. This motherfucker's so fine in Magic City, it'll make you borrow some money. No problem. <laughs> it all would be that one nigga. I'm no straight. ain't gonna do nothing. That'd be the first motherfucker. Hey, man. Let me hold something. <laughs> Uh, 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 I, I come like out like that. What type of DC was I stayed in? I got out of pocket. 
I think I do about five thousand. Yeah, you that's good. The most. See, but that's, that's the most. That's different. I think in me the city, like, like that ain't our culture. The strip yeah. club. I mean, the only strip club we really had in the city was the penthouse. Like, my uncle used to, you know, what I mean, that was terrible. God, see, and <laughs> Larry lost his life. And Larry strip club. That was different, that was, though, man. That was, you know, my they area. Did. I grew up right there, so mm. I grew up seeing it. I knew the girls, and from being around them, right. I got a picture of me in the penthouse with a chain on at six years old. Like them niggas had me around and shit. So I was like, Atlanta. Used to be crazy. Like, used to be like mini Vegas. Ford, Ford's and Industrial used to be a strip full of prostitutes. Really? 70s and 80s. Oh. The same prostitutes oh. are still out there, too. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the one that's still alive. The one that's still alive. He just snitched on himself. He make the right. He like walking dead. He make that left. He go down there with a prostitute. He's walking dead. That's the fucked up part. You're actually right. You are correct. Correct as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no cap, that my old neighborhood. That motherfucker is lit. The no Atlanta strip is different though, man. You that's gotta give them money. It's the, the shit culture, they gonna, man. You'll get butt naked. Yeah, that's. I'm talking about everything. You can see her lungs. <laughs> I ain't seen them before. Oh, man. man. They in there. 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 Yeah, we need Pitta Colada. They got a lot of come to, me. come to the stage. Come to the top We got Diamond coming to the stage. I need Diamond, Kitty Cat, and Coca Cola. Get it ready. We need $1,500 at once. Coming from the top side. I'm about to turn this yeah, motherfucker up. Y'all got to do it. Right in the morning, we still just getting started. Make sure <laughs> you tip your waitresses, bartenders, $60 parking, $30 for fucking niggas. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Break bread or break dead. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Hey. You, you can tell there wasn't no ball in there. All the way, man. Crazy. Is, you gotta love this city for that, man. It's this. You gotta yeah, love the culture of this city. Is, hey, is I'm telling you is. what you do. You just grab the money and hold it. You get the money and you just hold it and you just watch it. They just, they just stare, they just look at you like little roaches. <laughs> and just, you see them, they come itching on up. You be like, yeah, she want that money right here. Boy. You, the, you do the money like this, they go with the money. You be like, look at that man, that man crazy. Look at that man go with the money. Uh-uh. Just hold Those tight. were the good old days. <laughs> Atlanta got the best strippers. I still though. go. They'll put your food order in. Go get you some weed. I want a whole hundred dollars. You like, bitch, you ain't damn now song. Hey, hey, bring it Five dollar song, man. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. That's all you need. Hey man, you got me fucked up. Man. It's, it's just a different city, it's a different man. There's something city, about man, this place. The As a black man, it's the blackest city that you could. I don't Did know. you ever have this on your on your? You know, in your radar, like throughout the years of you going up, did you ever see yourself being here and entrenching really yourself in this culture? Being in Atlanta, <clears throat> I always came. It was always fun to come visit, especially when like when they had uh, up in like Buckhead when they had that whole they had that whole like club role. It was like oh, they was open to like shit. four five in the morning, yeah. mm. and I would come down here and I'd be like, "It's open to what?" And I'd be like, "All right, so we just be like going across the street to a club to go." That was kind of dope. That was back in the day when we were in the house at two in the morning. What was it like to be famous when fame was fame? When fame was fame. When fame was fame. When you were seventy, fame, fame had money. That's the only time they see you. Like they ain't got no access to be able to call you a buck nigga in your comments. So Chico, take your head on, boy. Like there wasn't none of that. Like when it was just really fame. Like what did it feel? It was a lot of fun. You had to be. You had to move a little. Bit more carefully, well. Right. Really? I, like back then, I had security. I, I wouldn't go to like I would when I got out of town, in particularly because you know it can happen. It's gonna happen out of town. Um, but like it was, it was a lot more energy for it because you didn't see people. You ain't had that access every day other than seeing me on TV. So if I popped up, and it was like oh, you know, too, like it, it was a lot more energy to it. Um, so I, it was just different because now like. Everybody feel like they know you because of your social media. They can see you on live. They can see you post. They can see Which everything. Right, day, right. Day. Like, and they may see you up the street. Like, you know? <laughs> Atlanta is different because they, you really might run into somebody doing nothing. Um, but like, for for that was a lot of fun back then. 
Like there was, yeah, it was a lot, a lot of fun. I couldn't imagine, bro. It was a lot of fun. Being, being famous back, back then. A lot of fun. With no, with no. I, I would have turned into a whole other nigga. With no. <laughs> Stop talking to with, me. With no camera phone. <laughs> no, no camera phone. No nothing. Oh my God, you was famous when it was really like when you walked into a place and they say your name. We got big ticket in the building, everybody. Ooh. Bitch is fucking, cause they don't know when you coming back. Yeah, baby. exactly. Oh, you know what I mean? Now you feel like, me? Yeah, that nigga in the building. Oh, they fucking. Now, <laughs> now bitch be like, I hit your Instagram. You be like, bitch, you don't know if you gonna see me again. You tripping? Oh yeah, now it was just. I mean, all of it was different. There was no social media. There was no camera phone. If you heard a rumor, guess what it was? A, a rumor. rumor. <laughs> You got pictures? Nope. Oh, that's a lot. So I mean, like, it was a lot of stuff that happened back then. It was a lot of fun that no one really, really talks about just mm. because ain't no, there's no, why would you snitch on yourself now? That's my damn right. You and them gonna be calling you like, well, what the fuck? You said that shit on the phone? <laughs> yo, my man. Nobody didn't know we was getting that hot. <laughs> God damn. Minutes, yo. No, she was Minutes, laughing. yo. We laughing about For real. That's hilarious. Nah, that's the OG, man. I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Nah, nah. Hey, so nah. So not so big we all would be. Ooh. Ace and nine. This is when she was sunshine too. Ah. Ah. She's still sunshine. Come <laughs> brighten up this couch. You know who's still beautiful too? Oh. Nia Long. Nia Long, Sanaa Lathan, Regina Hall, mm-hmm. all of them. Oh, people love back. all of you. Y'all ladies. always say the same motherfuckers, man. Don't nobody never shout out Viola Davis. <laughs> hey! Shout out Viola Davis. Shout out Viola Davis. I hate you. And I, I, I fuck with Viola Davis. <laughs> man, that motherfucker paint. Stop playing. You ain't got to say everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> you talk to shit. How you going to throw me up in the alley and be like, why you doing? <laughs> you know I'm a win that dick. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, now, that, that was, that was I would say, primarily <laughs> so the biggest the mat, difference back then. You can move a lot pain. quieter. Man. You can move a lot quieter. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see it in my face. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, boy. hey, hey. My nephew? Listen. He doing it. He doing it. Hey, man. Damn, boy. I, I swear, I, I man. Remember that. Yeah, it was like, what, what year was it? We did the Cash Money Rough Rider tour. I hosted Whoa, it. Whoa, you was on that? I hosted it. Oh, my God. There was so much hair and coochie around that motherfucker. Oh, God damn it, DC. I hosted the Cash Money Rough Rider tour. <laughs> And I learned so much. <laughs> I bet you did. Because I was on a tour bus, you know, like from city. Like I was only doing like the weekend, so I would go like Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday I would fly back home, and then I fly back Friday wherever to meet them, and then like Friday, Saturday. And that bitch was lit. But I mean, I, the things that I saw and learned on them tour buses around that group between Cash Money and the Rough Riders, the when rough they were Cash 99, Money. 99, 2000, the rough rough Ride. 98, 99, oh my God. Oh, with the leathers, God. with the leather vest, with the R's on the motherfucker. With the Jabos, bro, Ooh. when they were still, with Baby had two watches and, uh, oh my God. With the black Cash Money chain. Oh man, the, the original, one, the, the Hot Boys original. was the Hot boy. There was another hot one boy. with, uh, I think it was the Jingle Ball something, it was, it was Ja Rule and Cash Money, Ja Rule, and somebody else. That was another tour I hosted. And then I went on tour with R, and that was just amazing. Oh, yeah, I saw him. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. I'm sure. Yeah, and then with that, we want to thank Big Tickle for coming out. We don't want to get into that. This is going. We, we go. We, yeah, the Hawks. Uh, hey, five, seven. We go in the We got the Hawks. The Hawks. No. We got that for some paint. <laughs> Chico, all I want to say, all I want to say right now, is niggas them love. <laughs> I think them love. Them love right there. Yeah. That's yeah. the way to end it all. It's them love. Yeah, so Chico, drop your social media, man, so they can get in touch with Please you. Please follow your boy at Big Tigger Show. Yes, sir. Uh, see my uh, morning show at Big Tigger Morning Show. Uh, shout out V103 in Atlanta. Shout out to ATL Hawks. I uh, appreciate it. One of the other things I really love about the organization, they, they like, like, the first time they was like, yeah, we want our brands to. It's like, great. I've never, I think, I, I, now you know, well, watch it, hit a feeling. Right. An NBA team said, we want our brand to be aligned with your brand. Right. That's, That's why I was about to cry it. earlier, man. <laughs> hey. That's how strong your That's why I love the Hawks, man. They told me that, I was like, that's why I fought with the house. You know, like, for real? So 
So I mean, like they, they've done an incredible job of intertwining the culture with the entertainment and basketball. Um, so shout out to everybody uh, at, over there at that State Farm Arena, Atlanta Facts. Hawks. Bro, um, what if what if this shit just keep getting deeper and deeper? They change the kiss cam to titty cam. <laughs> and they just find big titties and they be like, we got titties in the building. Let's say that one. 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 Hey, that's the okay. one. Hold up, hold up. Kick it all up. easy. Nah, it got real, but we finna get real up. I already cool it with my nigga. Yeah, big ticker. Listen, you already know how we get down. West side, yeah, I get round. Come around, man, and get down. Okay. Everybody know, man, I get round. Listen, west side, be the best side. AP, yeah, that my side. I'ma tell you like this shit is only one counter up uh, where I ride. Listen. Your name Chico. Yep. Fuck around. Hit the free throw. Yep. Yeah. Salute to the hawk. Yeah. Fuck what you thought. You did. <laughs> Fuck what you thought we get boom. Yeah. Damn, I see the girl long. Yeah. You know we do it bigger. Yeah. In a motherfucking trouble, big tigger. Big tigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know I ain't playing. Yeah. Can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't never do the most. Gotta pass it to my homeboy Lose. Yeah. One more time, let me kick it like yeah. I got some shit on my shoe. That's just what I came to do. Hey, you know that. I'm a fool, I'm that dude breaking off slabs I'm that dude that's sweeping off crumbs I'm that dude gonna tilt that stripper Bust it open, let me see them lungs <laughs> What you need? Man, we don't even smoke no weed But I'm higher than a bird You need some glasses if you can't see Yo, hey, what you thought? Yo, 85 South and them hogs Yo, big ticket, give me what you need Yo, please you till you can't breathe mm. Scream me fire me With my man Tico Ben Oh, and my man Los Miller. Yo, I'm Nick Tigger, I'm a killer. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck happened? We don't know. We don't know. Y'all still don't know? We don't know.